Hi everyone, it's Thea here, just here to spill some more tea for you guys, and this time it is about Summer House Martha's Vineyard, and what I have to say is, I'm going to talk about today a specific cast member from Summer House MV, and I think you guys guessed it already, it's Silas. Now, Silas Cooper, I find him to be super annoying and he is just one of those people that really gets under my skin and he is a very kind of like he believes in authority and he was in the military and I think he I believe he still serves in the military and he is just very regimented and that's all good and everything but he takes it to a whole nother crazy level and i feel like he wants to control everything not only in the house in summer house mv but also like his wife and the people in the house and their behavior and what they can do and what they can't do to extreme levels and I feel like he has a lot of issues and that's why he constantly needs to be in control it's probably something some kind of childhood trauma where he did not have control in his like young life in his like childhood and now he feels as though he has to subconsciously feels as though he has to control everything in order to you know be happy or for everything to work he's always looking for perfection and it's very giving me very like sociopath like vibes not so actually let me take that back not sociopath vibes it's giving me very like you know crazy person who needs to control everything control issues kind of guy and i don't like it at all i don't like the way he treats his wife like the rest of the guys are just like normal levels of like you know annoying and douchey in the house but this man has a serious problem he has to control everything that his wife does everything that his wife's friends do he is not only this like extremely serious at all times he has an opinion on everything and it's always the wrong opinion in my mind anyway it's not like a pleasant he's not a pleasant character to be around and i don't think he is great for the house or the show because he is very like you know wrong (laughs) wrong on so many levels and i feel as though he does not let his wife be who she is and flourish and be the person that she wants to be and who she was originally before she met him so these two met during the pandemic and they kind of got married during that time too and i feel like they did not know each other because they were in isolation a lot of the time they did not know each other outside of each other they had not seen each other with each other's friends and the way they behave like in social settings and things like that And I feel like that is pretty dangerous to kind of like get into a relationship and not even just get into a relationship, but also be married to someone when you don't know how they are in social situations in like different, you know, settings in life. And you have not taken the time to, you know, really get to know the person in an all encompassing, all round kind of way. And that could lead to problems. And I feel like Jasmine did not see that or he did not see that silas did not see what she was like and now he's trying to control her and mold her into exactly what he wants out of a wife and also i hated the way he basically thinks he can kick out bria and um he can just like first he was cool with bria inviting her boyfriend and then he was like no i never agreed to that and then they both Silas and his wife Jasmine were like backtracking and telling Bria that she couldn't bring him. I'm no fan of Bria, but she he did he did basically they both Jasmine and Silas did agree that she could bring her boyfriend for a week. We even saw a flashback of that and he agreed to that and so did Jasmine. And then also what I did not like is how he was just like super dismissive and like he he feels like he's 
the man in charge. Then he went to her bedroom and was kind of like saying that she is like basically a shit starter. Basically, she's just very like entitled and she is like, you know, I forgot the word that he used, but you know, she's very like, he, he basically went up there to start a fight without his wife with this woman who is his wife's friend and long term, long time friend. And I found that to be like, really like weird. And like, that was a covert operation that he was going on there. And it was not comfortable for me to watch. And I feel like he is a not a pleasant person at all. Like, I was going going to say he's like a psychopath. But no, I don't see psychopathic yet. But I feel like he could turn into a psychopath. He's like on the precipice, on the cusp, on the on the edge of that line where he could go one way or the other. Like, no, I I feel like she needs to get away from him. Everyone in the house needs to get away from him. Bria needs to get away from him. And so does his wife, Jasmine. He also I did not like the way he um, in the car. They showed a flashback how he was talking about all black women need to be i feel he said silas said i feel all black women need to be married um i want to see them all married and i want to see them all preferably married to black men so that's his preference whatever but the weird thing i found the weird gross misogynistic thing i found is when he was talking about how how all black women i i feel that they need to be married like who is giving you the right to tell women that they need to be married and that they have to they should all be married and things like that that is just so weird and creepy like these are people that have nothing to do with you or your life but you want to govern what they do with their lives with their bodies it's giving me like uh it's giving me like trump vibes and it's giving me like you know like dictator vibes like he's some kind of like evil dictator like i just don't like him his vibe in general he's just bad for the house and he kind of like brings like an evil he, he feels like the evil evil villain in the house and he there's like a dark stormy cloud on top of him so i'm really not a fan of him i don't like him on the show i don't like him for jasmine and i don't like him for the rest of the cast and especially the women he's always like talking about his sororities as well like and how that's really important to him and he brings that up all the time and he's trying to make the teams into sorority teams all the time and he's like because they have like a great history and all that like college was college leave it alone you're older now and you're not wiser and you're still like trying to relive your college days it's gross it's sad you're trying to relive that and like kind of trying to you know, not just relive that, but you're kind of in a weird way trying to replay your college life. And like I said, it's just sad and pathetic. So like always, I want to hear what you guys think of this situation. Do you feel the same way that I do about Silas Cooper? Do you like him? Do you think that he's bad for Jasmine? Do you think that they should be married or like she should like get away from him? Like right now, do you think he's good for the house? And do you think what he did and said to Bria was okay? The way he behaved with Bria was okay or not? And with the other women in the house and the weird comments that he keeps making about, you know, about uh, sororities and college and about how he wants all black women to be married. What do you guys feel about that? Comment below and let me know because I have a feeling that everyone probably who has seen this show has a lot to say about this guy, Silas. Secondly, I just want you guys to remember that everything that I have said and heard in this video is alleged, and these are all my own thoughts and opinions about this subject that I'm talking about, about Summer House, Martha's Vineyard, and Silas Cooper. And in all my all other videos too, these are just my own thoughts and opinions also i just want to know what you guys want me to make more videos on um i'd love to know so comment below and let me know so i can make more stuff that you guys want to hear and want to listen to another thing is that 
I just want to remind you guys that if you guys have any tea that you want me to spill, please comment down below and spill. I'll be happy to spill that tea for you guys. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you want to contact me there, you can at Thea's Lifey, and I'm happy to spill that tea for you there. Just remember that I upload every single day on YouTube, TikTok, and all my other social media platforms. And I uh, put a bunch of shorts up, YouTube shorts every day, and also a bunch of long form content, which is a video like this. So you will not be disappointed if you subscribe to this channel right now. So like, subscribe, um, share, and turn on that notification bell and comment. And I'll be back tomorrow with more.